Well, what's good? What's good? Day trading this morning, day trading futures. I made one one good trade right out of the gates. And then I made one really bad trade and gave back the profits. We're still ending up the day green, but Patrick, Patrick, Patrick. I'm going to talk about the terrible trade that I made, show you guys a terrible trade. Hopefully, you'll learn from my mistakes. Don't do as I do, but do as I say. I'm going to show you guys the trades and all that fun stuff right here in this video. So, stay tuned. <laughs> Right, all right, so here we go. It is currently Wednesday. It's 3.30 in the morning here in Hawaii, 9.30, obviously. Market is opening, and we are getting in here at the 65s, looking for a push-up to the 68s or higher from here. A little bit of resistance kind of in that this area here. So looking for that push-up. Uh, market open now, and uh, we're just getting going here. Let's see if we can get a push up here. There we go. Look up at 66s. Looking for 68s or higher here. So you can push through that resistance there at the 67s. Push up to the 68, 69 area. Chilly this morning. You see, I got a, I got a uh, jacket on here. Push on 67s now. Look for that 68 area here. There we go. 68 pushing now. Looking for 68.50. Three handles, three handles that we're looking for here. Putting some orders out there, getting filled. Let's see if we can push a little higher. 68, 50 getting filled there. Looking for some more. Got one contract left here. Moving my stop to uh, 66 there. So basically break even area at this point. Let this one ride a little bit. See if we can't get like 69s. Just booming right now. 68.50, 69s coming. Let's do it. Let's do it, boys. Ding, 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 ding. Come on. Starting the day off strong here. That's what I like to do. Wake up. Turn up. Make up. Wake up. Drake up. 69s. Come on. 69, 69. There we go, 69s. Put an order, 69.25. Getting filled, perfect. Sweet. Starting off the day up $45 there on those three contracts. That was perfect, perfect, perfect. It was just perfect. Now, what I'm watching is on that, kind of why I'm looking at that 69 area here real quickly. You can see on the 30-minute chart. Now, why I'm watching that 30 now, why I'm watching that 69 area, you can see on the 30 minute chart that resistance 69, 70 area, kind of that downtrend. So we're looking to see if we can push through that downtrend and then look for another opportunity for consolidation. So we'll wait and see what happens from here. <clears throat> All right, so we're looking for a short here now. Um, got this like a lot of just kind of chopping around up here. We're right at that resistance level. So looking for another pullback. Down here, 64s, and we're just gonna put our stop right at the stop, at the uh, the high of those candles, being that 69 area. So we'll see if this is gonna wanna pull back more here. I don't love it, but I just feel like it's having a lot of trouble up there at that 69s right now, and all that resistance is right there too. Looks like it wants to break to the upside here. If it breaks out of this, we'll switch long. We'll, if it breaks out of this and stops me out, we'll switch long. Mm, it's a bad, bad trade. So we're going to switch long there at the 70s. Let's see if we can't ride this momentum back up here. Oh, that was a terrible trade. What was I doing? Why would I get short there? <laughs> I'm put my stop here at the 69s. Because if they can't hold 69 area, it'll be like a failed breakout. I'm really not happy about that last trade. I don't know what I was thinking. Just trying to fight the trend. Doing exactly what I said not to do. Let me just push up to the 72, 73 area. 72 pushing. I like to get at least into the 72s here. Got a lot of resistance coming up in this area. Let's see if we can't just start squeezing up. Put an order out there. 72, 70, 73, 72, 70, 75. Let's see if we can get uh, 73s or higher here. We got one contract left. Looking for 73 or higher. That'll be our three handle stop. 
our three handle goal I guess I should say pretty darn close though 73 high there we'll move my stop to break even now we'll let this one push up a little bit see if it'll can go you can see just a lot of resistance in this area I'm we'll putting an order 7270 uh 72.25 see if I get filled there it's kind of having some trouble there shouldn't get filled 72 there you go 72 getting filled a little bit better but that last trade was just so bad it's terrible and uh, I mean you can really see I mean it's not not rocket science to see what I did wrong there we had a pretty clear bull flag but just fighting the trend uh, I think really this candle right here should have been like a good like indicator like hey there's buyers stepping in there they're pushing it back up it's you know it's holding this level here and uh, you know why would we fight that at that point so uh, you know we try to get short there thinking this is going to pull back but it really at the end of the day it didn't it didn't even matter if we thought it was going to pull back that was just a really bad entry for a short either way so you know if i'm going to be shorting why would i be shorting at the bottom where that clear support is and if I'm gonna be shorting, I should be shorting up here at the top where that resistance was. So number one, we shorted right where the support was, and then number two, we, um, you know, our risk was just too too much. We gave back all the profit from that first trade, which we should never be doing. So that was, uh, you know, two or three really bad things. Number one, shorting at that support area there, and then number two, you know, not being able to identify like, hey, there's that support resistance there should be shorting up here if we thought there was a short like if we thought there was a short opportunity we should be shorting up here you know at the 70 area clearly where that resistance was not down here at that support level and uh, you know it did end up making a nice little move from the 67s up there to 73 so that's a decent profit the risk reward was good there for that breakout but uh, you know just kind of fighting the trend there and uh, just need to need to make sure you know I'm asking myself these questions next time you know every time I do a trade Where's the support? Where's the resistance? What's the trend? What's going on? You know, look at the big picture, not just focused on like, hey, look, it's going to sell off. Uh, yeah. So good little lesson there. Hopefully this is entertaining for you guys. Hopefully you guys are learning something. I'm learning something every day. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of close it out there. Uh, I just feel like we're at a really kind of area now where, I don't know, I just don't really want to be trading up here. It's got so much resistance at that all-time high area here. And right now, again, you can see we're in that trend or in that channel uh, right there. So, I don't know. It just seems like it's kind of sideways action from here for a little bit, trying to figure out which way the market's going to go. I feel like we've just we've gone up so much the past few, uh, few days and stuff that, um, yeah, it's kind of... Maybe be a consolidation point. You can see now pulling back to the 71. So we ended up getting out at a good time there at least. Kind of taking profit up there the 72, 73 area. And uh, it is what it is. Trading, baby. We're trading.